Hey, Gary Baker here with you from 30minutemarketing.net. Well, by the time we get to the end of this quick video, you're going to understand how to set up the navigation menus in Groove Pages and also how to set up an external link on your navigation menu. If you're new to Groove Pages and Groove Funnels and you don't have an account yet, there'll be a link in the description. You can go there, set up your free account, and start working with your three free sites. But let's just jump straight into setting up this navigation menu right now. Of course, I have a new site right here that has a nice header on it. I'll go ahead and open the editor and we'll drop in a nav bar. So to set up that navigation menu very quickly, what we can do is we can just go inside of blocks and we can go down to navigation bars. And this will allow us to drag in a block as well as a navigation bar combo. And we'll just go ahead and drag that and set it up at the top. And as you can see, that's really quickly going to create us a navigation bar. Get some more real estate here. You'll see there's a single page here that's called home. Of course, if we were to add another page and simply just start that from scratch and then go back to the home page, you'll see that page two was instantly added. So this is how quickly Groove Pages sets up the navigation menu bar for internal links or links that are inside of the site that you're working in. But let's say that you want to create a link out to your support page. For example, I use Freshdesk for my support desk for all my tickets for any inquiries, problems that people have with 30 minute marketing. So if I want to link to my Freshdesk, what I can do is I can simply go in here in the navigation bar and you see this green border around the navigation bar. It's highlighted, I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna open up the nav menu and I'm going to go under configure. And here you're gonna see pages to exclude, but what we're focused on is external links. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up one external link in this case, and we're gonna make that a support link. And we're going to attach that link to a URL. And inside of that URL, I'm going to put the URL for my Freshdesk support. I'm gonna go ahead and open that in a new tab. I'm gonna click update. And I'm going to get that out of the way. Now you can see that support has a link in the nav menu. Of course, I would save that. Then also I would publish that and we'll go ahead and just call this support. Once that content saved, you can see right there, it's saying it'll usually go live within a few minutes, but it might take longer. Typically this works almost instantly. So we'll go ahead and open that up in a new tab and you can see exactly how this nav bar was created. So there it is, my support, my page with my header with it all centered, my new navigation bar with my home, my page two, and now my external link to support. If you look down here in the left-hand corner, you'll see the URL that I added. I'll go ahead and click that. And as you can see, that quickly added a link to my support desk where people can open a ticket, log in, check their current tickets, also check for solutions over at 30minutemarketing.net support portal. So again, there you go. It's nice, it's quick, it's easy a look at it inside of the Groove Pages editor. Make sure you're highlighting the nav menu, getting that green box around it. Check out the breadcrumbs, nav menu, container, nav bar one, container, block body. Once you click on that, you'll be able to edit it under configure. And again, you're just gonna add an external link, label that link, attach it to a URL, choose if you wanted to open up a new tab or not, and that's all there is to it. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that, subscribe to the channel. For more awesome content, just like the videos you see on the end screen, click on those videos, keep watching, learn more about Groove Pages, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.